also watching three other congressional primary contests. Holyoke Mayor Alex Morse is challenging Congressman Richard Neal for the Democratic nomination in the first district. Congressman Seth Moulton in the 6th has two Democratic challengers, Jamie Belsito and Angus McQuilkin, both of Topsfield. And Dr. Robbie Goldstein at MGH is hoping to unseat Congressman Stephen Lynch in the 8th District. I want to bring in WBZ political analyst John Keller, who joins me live in the studio now. John, which, if any, of these incumbents are vulnerable tonight? Well, probably Ed Markey, I'd say, Lisa, just because he's being challenged by someone with major political resources. But look, while no one should ever hesitate to vote their choice because of polling, the polls do suggest that all these incumbents have an edge going into today. We all watched two years ago as voters in the 7th District dumped a veteran incumbent, Mike Capuano, remember? Because Ayanna Presley convinced them that, her, quoting her campaign slogan, change can't wait. Well, this time around, there seems to be more emphasis being placed on the experience and cloud of incumbents, from Markey to Neil out west to Lynch and Moulton. So while many voters are surely unhappy with the state of our nation right now, Lisa, they just might not be ready to take it out on the incumbents. We're going to find out in a few short hours. And, John, does that say a lot about the incumbents themselves, or does that say more about the mindset of the voters in our state right now? Well, look, the fact that these guys are facing serious challenges speaks to some level of restlessness within the party. But look at the sky-high approval ratings of somebody who isn't on the ballot today, Governor Charlie Baker. What? Across the board, this may prove to be less of a change election and more of what I'm calling a comfort food election, where voters are reaching for something familiar rather than taking a chance on something new. But you know what? Uh, we're hearing about strong turnout today in urban areas. That is seen by some observers as a sign of potential change, change voters. So we will wait and see along with you at home. All right, we've got our special tonight. John, thank you. We'll talk to you a little bit later.